Has anyone ever told you that God loves you? It's true, God absolutely loves you. Jeremiah 31, 3 says, God has loved you with everlasting love. John 3, 16 and 17 say that God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but to save the world. There was a man named Nicodemus who was a religious leader who came to Jesus one night and he was seeking for truth. He said, teacher, we know God sent you to teach us and all the miracles you're doing, we know that God is with you. Well, Jesus answered him and said, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Well, Nicodemus was shocked. He said, what do you mean? How could an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus said, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Does that surprise you too? What does born again mean anyway? Well, literally it means born from above. See, Nicodemus had a real need. He needed a change of heart. He needed a spiritual transformation. Don't we all want our hearts to be filled with joy and love and peace in this crazy world? Well, new birth is an act of God where eternal life is given to a person who believes. Being born again also means becoming children of God through trust in the name of Jesus. So you might be wondering, well, why does a person need to be born again? Well, you see, we all have a problem. It separates us from God and it's called sin. We all have it. The Bible says there is none righteous, not one. We all fall short of God's glory. We can't compare ourselves with anyone else. It's not about that. It's not the point. The point is no one is as good as God. God is holy and just and righteous, and he cannot be in the presence of sin. And we're tainted in it. So we need a way to heaven. And John 14, 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. We're all spiritually dead until we receive spiritual life through faith in Christ. Those who are born again have their sins forgiven, and they have a love relationship with God. I've heard it put this way. When we're born once, we die twice. When we're born twice, we die once. So how can we be born again? By faith. By believing in Jesus' completed work on the cross, on his, in his life, his death, and his resurrection. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 through 10, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not something you work for. It's faith. If you don't have faith, ask God for it. It's, he's happy to give it. It's a gift from God. Ephesians 2, 8 says, We are saved by grace through faith not of works so that no one can boast. See, it's God's grace and faith in Jesus that saves you. This is such great news, and that's what gospel means, good news. And that's why we love to tell others about it. My friends, I have more joy and peace and love in my heart from my relationship with God that I can't think of anything better to give you. And I truly want you to have the love that I have in my heart. I want to share it. If you have a desire to have that joy and that peace, just pray and ask God to come into your heart. It doesn't have to be any special prayer, just it's between you and God. Just pour your heart out to him. He's listening. He knows you better than anyone else anyway, and he is waiting for you with open arms. And if you pray to receive Jesus, go and tell someone that you love. Tell someone that you trust. Or tell me, and I'll be happy to help you grow in your faith in Christ. And rejoice because you are a child of God. Thanks for listening. God bless you.